was on, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Ross. I like games. And today, we need to take a look at Kingdoms of Intrigue. Because you see, we've all been talking a lot about OP05, about Awakening of the New Era, and how the prices for that have been getting dumb. We've talked about that on this channel, and honestly, we're probably not dumb. We probably need to have a little bit of a recap in the not-too-distant future. But while that's been happening, OP04 has actually started creeping up and creeping up and creeping up. And at this stage, it is not a coincidence. Essentially... For a while, OP04 has been readily available. It was the first set where on release Bandai were able to supply pretty much what we needed. And I'm not saying it was perfectly available everywhere. I'm saying that it was largely available pretty easily on release. Which is kind of awesome. Now, over in the UK we're actually still seeing pretty good things. It is still pretty readily available below retail in the UK, which is lovely, frankly. I can go and pick it up at Leisure Games, for instance, for £95 for a booster box. That's below retail. Uh, not sponsored by Leisure Games, just to be clear. They are just a random website I found that have it in stock below retail. But I know over in the US... This is becoming less and less of a thing. I know if we head on over to eBay at the moment and we have a look at OP04, we will see that it is not available below retail at the moment as it stands. Booster boxes at the moment over in the US are starting to creep up. There's a couple in a row, one for 180 and one for 200. This is starting to happen. And it seems to be happening in the US faster than elsewhere. It seems to be, you know, in the UK, OP04 is still pretty readily available below retail. That is not the case in the US right now, where the price of boxes is going up. And it is having a knock-on effect on singles. Not all singles, but it is having a noticeable knock-on effect. And look, I could show you the Manga Sabo and tell you that that is creeping up to an $800 card. I know the market price is stated at 640 on TCG Player right now. Don't look at that. Look at the last two near mint solds. They were both $800. It's about an $800 card right now. But that's the manga rare. The pull rates on the manga rares are hilariously low. Trying to gauge a set by manga rares is not particularly fair. So I show you that just out of interest, but that's not what we want to focus on. How about the big card outside the manga rare? How about the special rare of Boa Hancock? Which, incidentally, I pulled from a booster box recently. And I'm going to start streaming and selling some cards on Whatnot soon. There is a link in the comment section if you want to go and join. Or in the description. I would hardly recommend you do. But I'm going to be doing a stream on Thursday around about 7 to 8 p.m. UK time. And I'm going to be trying to sell some One Piece cards, including this. So, you know, pop on down. Seriously, you should. It'll be fun. I'm going to tweet about it, but just, just come and join. But this card has been going up and up and up. It kind of, well, to be fair, on release, it kind of dropped from about 80 to about 65. But it keeps creeping up and keeps creeping up. And again, we can look at the market price of 170. But the recent solds are 180, 200, and 160. This is another one which is going up pretty steadily. And I know the pull rates for these are quite low. Again... So, there is an explanation there, but this is one that is going up, and it is actually getting to kind of silly levels now. Speaking of special rares, probably number three card in the set at the moment is your Trafalgar Law. And you'll notice that this has been going up and down. Started off at about 60 bucks, went as high as about 75, dropped right down to nearly 60, and now it's up at 85, but actually two of the recent sales are 100, and the other one's 90-odd, so yeah. This is going up to about a $100 card. And you'll see that there was a fair bit of time where this was just readily available. And we're not talking about a card that dropped on release when the set was out there and then started going up afterwards. We're talking about a card that went up quite sharply on release, or shortly after, and then dropped down quite a bit. 
and is now creeping up again. And it shouldn't be a coincidence. Essentially, what is happening is the good times of OPO4 are over. And there is a decent chance OPO4 gets a reprint in the not too distant future. And this pushes prices down again. Like I've said, there are some territories like the UK where OPO4 is still pretty readily available and we're not really seeing this happening. But in the US... OPO4 is becoming less readily available and we are seeing the prices spike. Take, let's go into some alternate art leaders now. Let's take a look at Rebecca. And if we look at release, since release, Rebecca has gone down from about 180 down to about 90. That's what's happened since release. But that's not necessarily a fair way to do it. Because if we have a look at the whole graph there, what has actually happened is that Rebecca fell down as low as 60 and is now sitting up at 90. It's gone up by 50% since Christmas, basically. In like three weeks, it's gone up from about 60 to about 90. This card is actually climbing pretty fast. And it's been stagnant for about a week, admittedly. But if we look at the recent solds, they're still up around 90. This is a card which has been going up. And what's interesting is it has been going up since the release of OP05. And for those of you that play the game, you'll notice that OP05 kind of killed Rebecca as a deck. Like, if you have a look at the results in the OP05 meta, Rebecca's nowhere to be seen. In OP04 and OP04.5, yeah, Rebecca was like a really good deck. When I casted the Liverpool Regionals there before the end of the year... We saw Rebecca going undefeated all the way to top four. Yeah, Re Rebecca's gone. Like, it's still fine, but it's not seeing any real play right now. So, it's weird that the leader is still going up. It's not that this card is suddenly playable. It's that these cards are all going up. I mean, Nefertari Vivi, my favorite leader in the set. Love that you can be giving one of your characters rush. Love that you draw cards. Love that it's evocative of that scene in the manga. But Vivi's never been a good leader. Like, it's my favorite, and I like making aggro decks around it. But I'm not going to pretend it's actually good. Because we've got months worth of data in Japan and over here, which show us it's not a particularly good leader. And yet, it started creeping up. And again, it started creeping up since Christmas. Started off as a very expensive card, about 120 Dropped very quickly down to a $50 card. Hung around there for a while. Actually got down below 40 at one point. And has now creeped back up to, well, market price on TCG player says 79. But look at the recent souls, 85, 85, 90. This isn't an $80 card, it's a $90 card. And it's not any more playable with the release of the OP05 meta. We, we're not seeing a card which is suddenly jumping in playability, nah mate. This is just a price. And you'll notice that all of these are seeing a big jump around Christmas. Every card I'm showing you, we are seeing a jump and they are all happening at Christmas. It's weird. Christmas made these cards jump up. Now, I will say it's not all of them. If we look at Don Quixote do Flamingo as a leader, we're going slightly out of order here, but it, this it works. Started off as $185, but that's kind of your pre-sale on release price. It drops very quickly down to about a $60 card. And that's where we are now. It's about a $60, $65 card. And the funny thing is, this was a very playable card in the OP04 meta. Once again, in the OP05 meta, this is just not seeing much play at all. Like, go on to Limitless, have a look at the tournaments we've had in this new meta. This, it's not representing. I'm going to be having a look at the European regionals, it's, or European championships, not regionals. It's like the Euros, it's coming up this weekend, it's going to be awesome. But I'm not actually expecting this to do particularly well because there's nothing we've seen in this meta which is showing us it should but you'll notice this dropped and has been a bit stagnant this one is actually not jumping but let's be clear more often than not they are jumping uh the alternate art of yamato here this is a very playable card and this one is actually seeing a big increase in play in yellow in the op5 meta or at least it's not dropped off all right 
This is a card which was great in Katakuri decks in the OPO format. It is still great in an L decks and Katakuri decks in the OPO 5 meta. And you'll notice this did the usual drop on release. I tell you every time, do not buy pre-sell or on release. Give it a week or two, and it dropped from 70 down to 40. It's now up to 80. And sure, we've had like a couple of weeks of it being stagnant, but this is a card which is very much on the rise. This is a card that dropped on release, as they always do, and I've told you this many times, and yet people still buy cards on release. But this has been going up very steadily since. This one actually bucks the trend as well a little bit. Because, of course, what we've seen from most of these is go down and then start spiking up at Christmas. Yamato here is just like, nah, mate, I'm going up the whole time. But if we want another one that's been doing that, how about Sanji? Alternate Art Sanji, it is a blocker, which also can be played with a trigger. Which makes it really good. Another card that sees a huge amount of play in yellow. It's one of the reasons why it's one of the most expensive cards in OPO4. Because, I mean, being Sanji helps, don't get me wrong. But this is another card which is just really, really playable. And a lot of people want the fancy version of it. And you'll notice that on release it goes down. But it doesn't just go down on release. It goes down from like 95 to 40 stays at around 35 to 40 for a long time and now all of a sudden it's a 65 dollar card we are seeing a big jump since christmas and it's kind of interesting if you want a really really clear one how about your alternate art sabo not the manga rare but the same card as the manga rare same basic artwork it just it's not the manga version so it's not as good but this is another card that sees a huge amount of play in a bunch of black decks and dual color decks, including black. It's one of the best cards in the game, frankly. It's got blocker and it stops your characters being KO'd by effects and it lets you cycle cards, draw two, trash two. But you'll notice starts at about 60 bucks, goes down below 30. Just after release, you could pick this up for less than $30 spikes up to 70 now this one has actually come down a bit and is now kind of sitting chilling at around 55 but you'll notice that is not far off what it released at and i've just finished telling you don't buy cards on release they are always massively inflated but you'll notice this one went up as well we are seeing this in opo4 and look i just showed you a do flamingo it's not every card i'm not pretending it's every card but even ones like Queen, which has never been, like, the big card, you'll notice that we saw a huge drop from 120 down to, like, 35. Then it kept going down to 20. 20? But the most recent sales are 42, 42, and 50. Sure, compared to release, it's not that high. But we got to Christmas, and even Queen saw a big jump. I think we are on the cut. Well, not really on the cut. We're already starting to see it. These cards from the more sought-after cards from OPO4 are starting to go up in price. We are starting to see that it is happening. And unless we get a big reprint of OPO4, you can expect this to keep going. Now, there is a decent chance we do. Bandai have shown us they will be reprinting these things. We've seen OPO2 finding its way into shops in the not-too-distant past. I've seen a bunch of people posting about OPO2 over the past few weeks, finding its way back into stores. We saw that it was in stock in official stores over in the UK in the past few weeks. And I don't know whether we're getting a big reprint or not. I don't work for Bandai, but I'm saying we've seen reprints of older sets fairly recently. But right now, booster boxes of OPO4 are, in the US at least, they're just not available below retail right now. And we are seeing a big spike in singles. And yeah, everyone's been looking at OPO5. But while that's been happening, OPO4 has been going up quite nicely. Which is good if you're holding on to these cards and want to sell them. Less good if you want to pick them up. And if there are any OPO4 cards you do want to pick up that do still seem fairly cheap... Like the alternate art do flamingo as an example. That's a card I'm thinking, you know what? Haven't picked that up yet. Maybe I should. For now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to know what you think about this. I want to know your favorite cards from OPO4. I want to know what you've picked up. I want to know anything you want to tell me. So let me know in the comment section, would you go nuts?
Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about One Piece and a bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, and all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. Money's Ross, and you've been watching Wassy Plays.